Good morning, and welcome to the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass on this Tuesday, May 18th. Our Mass today is being offered for Karen Krennic, requested by all of her friends. Please join me in the entrance antiphon. I am the first and the last. I was dead and now am alive. Behold, I am alive forever and ever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us come before the Lord mindful of our sin as we seek God's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to, another, to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit, coming near and dwelling graciously within us, may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, Paul had the presbyters of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. You know how I lived among you the whole time from the day I first came to the providence of Asia. I served the Lord with all humility and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews. And I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I earnestly bore witness for both Jews and Greeks to repentance before God and to faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there, I do not know, except that in one city after another, the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet I consider life of no importance to me if only I may finish the course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to bear witness to the gospel of God's graces. But now I know that none of you to whom I preach the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial psalm, sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you showered down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land when it languished. Your flocks settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the Lord, who bears our burdens. God, who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my God, controls the passageways of death. Sing, Sing to God, God, O kingdoms of earth.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you always. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them, and they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you have sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. A long time ago, before I entered the seminary, um, I used to play music and sing and do a lot of stuff like that. One of the songs that was always requested was a song that I'm sure that most of you are familiar with. Frank Sinatra made it famous. It was called My Way. It was about a person at the end of his life. And now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. At the end of every stanza, it was, and I did it my way. Well, people love that song. I would sing it, and I wouldn't think a whole lot about the words. I was young. I wasn't thinking about the end of my life. And it made sense to me. But then there was a, a, a big awareness that came upon me I think once God had called me to the priesthood, was that all of our lives, every one of us, our lives are not about doing it our way. Our lives are best when we do it His way or God's way. Today, in both of the passages that we had, we have farewell talks. Paul was speaking to those in Ephesus, the same, you're not going to see me again. I'm going, but let me let you know that I did all that I did for you for the sake of the gospel. Jesus talking to his father in this beautiful prayer in the 17th chapter of the Gospel of John. That's the, the chapter where he says, Father, I pray that all of these will be one as you and I are as one. But in this particular passage, as he is readying himself to go back to the Father, he is saying, Lord, I did what you called me to do. My life was pointing to you. I revealed to the people what you called me to reveal. They know you. They are glorifying you in their lives because they've received the word and living it now. For all of us, I think it would be wonderful if when we wrote 
our farewell discourse, when we made our goodbyes, we were able to say maybe a combination of all three of these. Regrets, I've had a few, but too few to mention. I did what I had to do because the love of you, God, was poured out into my heart. Although I may never pass this way again, I pray that all of us will be gathered together again in God's great and wonderful glory. For Jesus does not pray for the world, but rather for each one of us. May God be praised. Amen. We're going to do something a little different today, so I'm going to ask you to be seated before we have these prayers. Because we do have a, a young couple here today who are celebrating their anniversary, Mr. and Mrs. Juanillo, Mercy, and Joe. And we'd love to have you come forward. And they're joined by their sons, who were my altar servers here. Now they're all grown up and college and all that stuff, right? So 25 years of marriage. What a blessing. What a blessing. So why don't you hold hands here as we pray for you and for the bond that you share. In the tender plan of God's providence, God has given us married love, its faithfulness, its fruitfulness, and a special significance in the history of salvation. We ask, O oh God, that you extend your hand of blessing on this couple who celebrate the love that you placed in their hearts for each other all those years ago. And now we ask you to restate your intentions, okay? So looking at your wife, repeat after me. I, Joe, take you, Mercy, once again to be my wife. I promise to continue loving you and honoring you all the days of my life. And mercy, you repeat after me. I, mercy, I mercy. Take, you, take you, Joe, once again to be my husband. I promise to continue loving and honoring you all the days of my life. Well, loving God, years ago, as you brought this family together, you gave them grace and you gave them peace. We ask your blessing upon them. In the beginning you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love. Likewise, you blessed the union of Joe and Mercy so that they would reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today. Amid the joys and struggles of their life, you have preserved the union between them. Renew their marriage covenant, increase your love in them, strengthen their bond of peace, so that surrounded by their children, they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray amen to each one of these. May God the Almighty Father give you joy. Amen. May the only Son of God have mercy on you and help you in both good times and in bad. Amen. May the Holy Spirit always fill your hearts with love. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, Father and Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And uh, you could take the mask down.
and seal your love with a kiss. <laughs> Congratulations. God bless you. So let us stand now and bring our prayers before the Lord. <clears throat> that the Holy Spirit may enkindle the fire of his love in the hearts of our bishops during this Easter season, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that judges and magistrates whose decisions affect the lives of many may be guided by the Holy Spirit in embracing principles of fairness and mercy let us pray to the Lord, Lord that the innocent victims of war and violence may find peace and healing through Jesus, the divine physician. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord that Jesus may keep us faithful to God's call to serve him in our relationships with family, neighbors, friends, and strangers. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord that those who have died may rejoice in the presence of God in the eternal life given by Christ, let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for those special intentions that, are, that we keep in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, everything that is yours, you have given to your Son. Hear and answer the prayers we offer today through him, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise of the Lord this day, for our good and the good of all his church. O Lord, accept the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Kingdom of power. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Union Antiphon, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of all that I have told you, says the Lord. Alleluia.
act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O Lord, we have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly imploring that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth and charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God, entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Have a blessed day and congratulations once again. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You 
reign now in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Come, O Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. O God, who did instruct the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant us in the same spirit to be truly wise and ever to rejoice in his consolation through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. O Lord Jesus Christ, who have vouchsafed to glorify by numberless miracles the Blessed Virgin Mary, immaculate from the first moment of her conception, grant that all who devoutly implore her protection on earth may eternally enjoy your presence in heaven, who with the Father and Holy Spirit live and reign God forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who for the accomplishment of your greatest works have chosen the weak things of the world, that no flesh may glory in your sight, and who for a better and more widely diffused belief in the immaculate conception of your mother have wished that the miraculous medal be manifested to St. Catherine Labore, grant, we beseech you, that filled with like humility we may glorify this mystery by word and work. Amen. The Memorare. Remember, O most compassionate Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your assistance, or sought your intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we kneel sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your clemency hear and answer them. Amen. The Novena Prayer. O Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of our Lord Jesus and our Mother, penetrated with the most lively confidence in your all-powerful and never-failing intercession, manifested so often through the miraculous medal, we, your loving and trustful children, implore you to obtain for us the graces and favors we ask during this novena, if they be beneficial to our immortal souls and the souls for whom we pray. You know, O oh Mary, how often our souls have been the sanctuaries of your Son, who hates iniquity. Obtain for us, then, a deep hatred of sin and the purity of heart, which will attach us to God alone, so that our every thought, word, and deed may tend to his greater glory. Obtain for us also a spirit of prayer and self-denial, that we may recover by penance what we have lost by sin and at length attain to that blessed abode where you are the queen of angels and of men. Amen. An act of consecration to Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. O Virgin Mother of God, Mary Immaculate, we dedicate and consecrate ourselves to you under the title of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal. May this medal be for each one of us a sure sign of your affection for us and a constant reminder of our duties toward you ever while wearing it, may we be blessed by your loving protection and preserved in the grace of your Son. O most powerful Virgin, Mother of our Savior, keep us close to you every moment of our lives. Obtain for us, your children, the grace of a happy death, so that in union with you, we may enjoy the bliss of heaven forever. Amen. O Mary conceived without sin, O Mary, conceived without sin. O Mary, conceived without sin. 
Novena to St. Jude. Most holy apostle, St. Jude Thaddeus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered the beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused you to be forgotten by many, but the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of hopeless cases and things despaired. Pray for me, make use I implore you of that particular privilege accorded to you to bring visible and speedy help where help is almost despaired. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and support of heaven in all my necessities, evils, and sufferings, particularly and that I may bless God with you and all the elect throughout eternity. I promise you, O blessed Saint Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Amen. Saint Jude, Apostle of Hope. Prayer to Saint Jude. Most holy apostle, Saint Jude Thaddeus, Friend of Jesus, I place myself in your care at this difficult time. Pray for me. Help me know that I need not face my troubles alone. Please join me in my need, asking God to send me consolation in my sorrow, courage in my fear, and healing in the midst of my suffering. Ask our loving Lord to fill me with the grace to accept whatever may lie ahead for me and my loved ones, and to strengthen my faith in God's healing powers. Thank you, St. Jude Thaddeus, for the promises of hope you hold out to all who believe and inspire me to give this gift of hope to others as it has been given to me. St. Jude, Apostle, Apostle of Hope, pray for us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen and Throne above, O Marie. Hail, Mother of mercy and of love, O Marie. Triumph, O the champions, sing with us seraphim. Heaven and earth resemble in salvation. Sound. Sound.